Today is the day we uh, are out here working on our pond. We've got it drained down. You can see we've got it down a good three, three and a half feet. So that way we can go out with the seine nets and we can work our way around and end up hopefully trapping in some of these carp. We can eliminate the carp in our pond. So we've tried catching them for years and now they've just gotten to the point where there's just so many. Uh, the only option we really have is to either kill it with rotenone or try and sane them out with these nets. So we didn't want to kill it and start over with our whole pond that would set us back a good four or five years. So we'd rather see if we can just get them with the nets. Huh? Little knot there. String it out. Right in the middle. We're making the nets. Pinch the net in the middle. Same net. There are a couple of things that we're doing out here today. Um, we're gonna be seeing what we catch. We're gonna jot down sizes. There's kind of a holding station for the fish. Way for us to transport the fish down. Down here we've got these areas that we're going to let we lay down the black liner gonna add in some peat gravel make some beds for our bluegill we all know bluegill like kind of that peat gravel area so kind of creating some areas here in the pond for them to have that that habitat to recreate and have their offspring so the gravel truck also showed up to help us taper the banks and keep it from eroding. Student showing up, coming to help out. Aquaculture class from the high school, coming to bail us out. Before we can start working the nets, we needed to eliminate some of the branches that were in the way. Since we have an island, we're going to be starting both nets perpendicular and then working around the island, meeting back in the middle and gathering the fish there. We created these stands out of rebar 
to set the nets on to hold the fish. Now we are meeting in the middle and hoping all of our hard work has paid off. Here I am explaining that if you grab one net from one hand and one from the other and place them both on the stands, we will then have all the fish in both nets. Here are the gravel beds completed. At the end of the day, we ended up catching quite a few carp and bluegill. We did not see any bass or catfish. Ultimately, it was a successful day. Just our luck. As we lowered the water down, the pelicans showed up for a snack. I hope this video has helped you see how we sand our pond.